almost worked out in their favor. These are the boring oh. rounds, typically, the ones that the shouldn't fight. matter all too much. And for foot, it looks like it won't. Just the one kill found, and now they're left in a familiar situation. Heavy cost. It's only Mr. Fallen going up there, and he needs to go quick to reunite with these players that are set up to take the site. And Leo setting up a stun as well, trying to put some of his players into position. Find some of these fights. The time's starting to tick down again. It's just <laughs> the trap just thrown at them. Yeah, the J wins exactly one, but the trade again is immediate. Boaster caught reloading. Maybe in a little bit of trouble. Still finds one more. And now it's left into that 1v1 scenario. Chronicle with all of the information and the time on his side as well. CNET just looking for that final fight, trying to bait. Oh no, fall back for CNET. So quickly dealt with, but Durka is traded out. This time, Mr. Fallen is going to plant his boots firmly in the ground. And he's got backup cracks up top. Only 10 HP on Mr. Fallen. It should be an easy kill, but it's the trade they'd be looking for. Mr. Fallen still grabs his third. They know Boaster's down below. The spams are good. Two us together can do a ridiculous amount of damage. It's something that I think KC does excellently when they run a similar comp to this. Oh, here goes Alpha, stunned up player. Doesn't expect a second. Oh, he waited so long and the value was massive. Chuck not gonna land from cracks, diving out of heaven, but he's on site to help out his teammates. Now the swing is good as Leo falls. But Fnatic are elsewhere. The spike might not be, that's the real problem. It's down on the floor, but the flank is through. And Durka could almost sell this. He's up in heaven, they think that's what they were waiting for. That's the flank that was coming fall back on. He's going for those tags up close, and it's not quite an opportunity. He's hearing steps, but it's just a decoy. Durka's done this a few times. Set up these flashes supportively on the Yoru. I'm a big fan of it. I don't think we've seen it hit so far. We won't see it hit this time, but Yedege grabs himself the kill onto Alpha. Slows down the push completely, but no one saw Durka TP down. Even still, though, <gasps> Yedege managed to find a second player. What well, going through? Again, this man just cracks, knowing that he had that supported play, and Dirk has now managed to find another one. <laughs> Cena manages to get two. Back He's going to go back in as well. He just closes around on his own. <laughs> oh, oh, of course. I mean, could catch them off. Why, why would he be going heaven at this point? Surely the guy's playing to defuse the spike. Instead, he's going to have a player with back turned with no idea. A bit more on that defensive side. I think the important thing for Fnatic is keeping things nice and clean. And Booster, that happened to him in the last half. He's going to get a little revenge. Can't let this man off the chain, though. That's the flash is gone from Durka. Decoy goes out. It's on its way. Ball for the retake. Oh, going to use it already before Spike has even been planted. Spike just planted. securing this control for his teammates, finding the utility. The decoy even used to break that trap as well. I love this. Now Durk is on the back side. No flashes, no decoys, no gate crash. Has to commit. So far. It really hasn't. He's had a slow start. Foot. Putting their eyes on this B side, the challenge will come to Boaster yet again. He's been good. Always able to get his ones or even more this time. There's the first. The cabbage is on their way. He's just about evaded the sprays that were coming to him. A little bit of damage sustained. Reposition towards the back side, not spotted. Where's that player <laughs> going? He's found him eventually. Had a captain back to the shadows where he belongs. Fnatic. Four versus two. Point one plant. I don't think you're going to see a closer round than this. The trap had to be broken as well. And as they peek out, it's left all on to Durka. A one versus two. A round that could have been won on time alone and Foot have played it to the very last margin. Only he stands in their way from taking this map home. And he has to go pushing into it. First kill is his. Down to just the one HP. And just look at where Yedoje is playing from. He still has a snake bite that he can use, that he could throw on if they go anywhere near that spike. That has worked fantastically well. Fnatic will have a good idea. Seen it though, already in. Yedege already in, but it doesn't even matter. Alpha's managed to find both opening picks. And again, now the time starts to take. They're going to run through this into the oncoming storm that is Fnatic. The wall it off as well. Guaranteeing no swing in from the spawn and got heaven covered. Post plant with these weapons, so much scarier. One player unchecked in a position that they don't clear, but... Oh, Yedige! What a shot! I was surprised he even swung, but of course, Cracks was there to help out, and they both found a kill. The slow up top, the information revealed as well. And that Odin spray isn't going to get a thing. They know that it's there. They're not going to be in angles where he can spam back for free. Already, the call is made. Fnatic go for a save. through, and well, it looks like it'll start with Alpha, who's already forced out of position, but they're not looking. Never mind. Cracks lands the jump and takes the kill with a Viper's pick committed. This could make it very difficult to hold on to post plants. Yeah, one more orb. 
a crack. Alpha's gonna get one, and now the cavalry arrives, but they don't know that Anacapt has managed to get this far. It's a problem once again for Fnatic of just losing where these foot players are. Even left. still, though, they've managed to turn it into a 3v3. Hey. And foot are gonna try and go back again with 25 seconds left. Well, they've got a lot of space on Yedige, so it makes sense to capitalize, and the wall allowed them to cleanly disconnect, but fire the player. Boombot spotting them out, spraying through the smoke to eliminate Fnatic. Have the advantage to play with, no need to move out of position. Yedige is going to try to fake out on C, he's been spotted. Making his way back all the way around, the long way to be at this point. That's where the hit's coming in, and tucked in the corner is Leo! He'd been there the whole round and patient. Coming through very deep as well, that's going to be hard to get back into after the lockdown pulses. Ah, this is so risky, goes for the last yeah. second push through! It's going to be the catch, but that is huge. That single kill and CNED coming alive is what grants for another round. The dash almost drawing his eye for a second before the other two players are able to find the kill with the smoke fading. Mr. Fallen, good for one heal left. right back up. And CNED's in there for the fight. Hiding inside the smoke. Boser wasn't ready, and now Leo <laughs> thinks he has a little bit of time in the oh, sneak through, oh, and there's a wall. Uh, oh. Yeah, blocked oh. off. He's not able to melt that wall in time, and three players as well. That could have been very scary indeed. Uh, an awkward way to lose it's a player. Way. But <laughs> so low in the corner, the effect is more or less the same. They haven't spotted Chronicle, and they will now, but at a heavy Ooh. cost. Dirk up on top of the wall as well. Able to swing through, able to continue pushing. In fact, they're not quite ready for it, but they win the fight anyways. Chronicle from... Wait, where is Mr. Fallen going? He's committed that. It, Mr. Fallen using his ult to go for a late game flank. Now they just use their slows, their utility, to keep these players in position while Mr. Fallen threads the needle. Leo already down. Another for Mr. Fallen on the flank. And that has slowed them possibly enough for Cena to find the opportunity. One more player. He has the dash online, but he doesn't get to use it. Alpha Yer really pick up the pace. And it's the B site where the plant will come through. Eight seconds, seven as it's planted. And that denial seems almost impossible. Leo does well to find the first, even spotting the next player with a shorty, which is 22 HP. It would be oh, enough. Oh, Leo don't have to come through, though. And a captain running. He's miles away, just now making it as it, the defuse is already half, and it's being stuck. Now picked up by Boaster. Leo tagged down low. 30 HP. As the decay fades away. Mr. Fallen's got a good position. They'll go back to clear it. They have to. But they don't check the right side. Still looking to cause havoc. There's another on the low HP player. And finally, it's only Boaster. Got a kill with a classic because he needed the reload. Tight, but a little bit too late. I think Fnatic are already going to be set up here. Yedeshe wants to get ahead of it. And it's oh, the trap. He grabs his kill and he's back out. Beautiful play. Yeah, that's such a smart setup from them. And oh, it's disgusting for CNN. Another headshot connected through the wall. He's always a man to fear. Peek out from Leon. He's been deep this position. Perfect snake bite. But impossible to follow up on. Chronicle has to swing out. Hello? He's good. I, I think he knew he was dead either way. They just wanted to see if he could survive in the corner, but it, it doesn't work out for him. And now they're all being picked apart. Alpha left to try and clutch this out. Meets his shotgun on the other side. Does land the first headshot. But again, the trades are so quick from the side of foot. Bit of a disaster. I don't know if I'd rather go down to a snake bite or try to take the fight. This position, I don't think they can even get this spike defused. And, well, if he takes out the whole team, that's another thing. Mr. Fallen down to 60 in time, running very, very low. Another kill comes in. Oh, and they find Chronicle. The swing was there to see if the defuse was being stuck. Ah, although I say that, Cena's already pushing directly in. They don't want to allow this to get into an afterplant at all, but most has done well. Cena caught in the corner. He should be dead here. There should be no way out. He swings, but he's only going to get one. And now out of captain. The main thing is the time. They're going for that plant. If he can somehow deny it, there would be hope. But instead, he's going to have to try and pull this off. Waiting for the swing up close. I hope I don't see him go aggressive, although I feel like he might win this fight. If he does, it's Mr. Fallen with a bookie on the other side. Not a favorable fight for that close range angle. Just waiting. Oh, good the rest timing. of the squad to group up. Yeah, they've already managed to take out Cena. And a captain may even just have to consider holding all the foot with 12 seconds left. We need to see that spike hit the floor very, very soon. Left. The cross from foot as they attempt to deny it. Watched by Alpha, but the shot is missed. Here's the swing up close, and he'll land his shot. Four seconds. Spike has to be planted and almost denied. Cena gives his wonders in the past. And one of the big things is not having an initiator to play through. They've cleared it this time, yes. no. They've spotted him, not gonna fall twice to the same mistake. Foot with the opening pick with the B-side control. Here comes Boaster, big gun in hand, and 
well, a tough position to try to get value from because they can spam right back at him, and there is the real problem. The counter spams the kill. As much as possible. Snakebite is going to do that. Chronicle throws one down in counter, but again, the spams can still be there. Already, he's managed to get into half, though. And now they're worried about Bosa. He has to let go, but Mr. Farnan at the last second has jumped in, and now it's left all up to Alfieri. Can't quite... Find a passive angle to spam from, buy extra little bits of time, but again, the trades are immediate. Chronicle hasn't been spotted. He's trying to wrap around on the site, and it's left all onto the leader. Boaster with only 17 bullets. He might just run out.